What's going on guys? Hope you're having a great time with DNF Duel here on the release week. I know I am. But if you are not, I have a pretty good suspicion as to why. Like we discussed in the last video, everyone in this game gets a reversal option, but not exactly. Kind of has the title entails here. There's about five, technically six. Be sure to watch at the end for that last one there that you can almost kind of ignore. Let's get into it. So to make sure we're all on the same page, when you knock somebody down, they have the option of pressing down in mana skill and doing an attack that on startup is invincible to get you off of them. Let's see what that actually looks like. So we're going to knock this guy down, pull up, try to enforce our turn, and we get DP. We get uh, an invincible reversal, right? So what do we do about it? So Crusaders actually has a weakness in it in that you can actually grab it as it's starting up. And then he's screwed. So now he can't do that anymore on wake up. But... This extends also to your pressure as well. So let's say you want to do like a standard frame trap, which for, you know, let's say Dragon Knight, she wants to do something like an A into B. Let me actually set this guy to block real quick. So let's say that we want to pull up on Crusader with a bit of a frame trap. We're going to do A into B, right? But we want to open the gap just a little bit, right? But we leave ourselves susceptible to that option set, right? And what we can do instead, especially when we're playing against Crusader, instead of going for strike into strike, we can go for strike into throw. And now he can't even use this to get out of some of the pressure that we build for him. This is one of many DPs we're going to shut down. Let's talk about the next one. So for this next example, you see I've switched to Troubleshooter, and that's just to bring emphasis to the weaknesses of these uh, invisible attacks are the same no matter who you are. You can grab Crusader's invisible attack no matter who you are. And similarly, uh, Vanguard's invisible attack has a weakness as well. And it is that as long as you stay low profile, he cannot touch you. It's literally that simple. Stand outside of grab range, swing low, and you are good to go. Similarly, right, if we set him to guard, we can kind of uh, change our pressure to kind of compensate for this. So we're going to do a standard frame trap just like before, and we're going to leave a bit of a gap, right? And if we go mid like that, we're not troubleshooter. Let me get a little bit closer. There we go. And if we go mid like that, he can get us. But if we stay low like so there we go and we're all set so the same way we can we can take advantage of it on wake up off of a hard knockdown is the same way we can take advantage of it whenever we're applying pressure let's move on to the next one all right so this one's actually pretty easy at first i thought it was a glitch let's take a look hard knockdown let's swing on him uh-oh he's not actually flashing red when he does his down ms nor does he have any MS that actually gives us the red circle here. That means when you knock down this character, uh, let's do this again. When you knock down this character, he actually can't do anything. He actually just has to block. There's nothing he can do. That teleport has no iframes on it whatsoever. Uh, do with the information what you will. I thought it was a bug at first. It's actually not. That is a yellow circle. And if I control him here, no matter what MS I do, there's no iframes on it. Now his command list mentions that this move should have some iframes on it. We have become invulnerable at the start of the move, but that is not the case as of now. And that circle is blinking yellow. And I think it always has. So until then, uh, as far as this patch is concerned, just run him over when you knock him down. So next up we got Lost Warrior. And this one's a pretty easy one too. He actually has a parry. And it parries highs and mids, but it doesn't parry lows like so he's pretty susceptible to lows and you may be like hi well that was a projectile right that doesn't count you're right that was a projectile surely this slide will give us different no nope. so yeah when this guy gets up just start your um pressure with the low and he's pretty much defenseless there's nothing much else he can do about it um if you're someone like ranger you don't even have to care about that part because any parry in the game is still susceptible to projectiles. I'm pretty confident. So that leads us to our last of the five DPs you definitely, or invisible attacks you definitely should not be worried about. For this grappler mains, I must apologize. Guys, if you didn't already know, grappler's uh, reversal attack when he gets up is a parry similar to Lost Warrior, but similarly to Lost Warrior, it is still susceptible to projectiles. It's still susceptible to lows. And of course it's susceptible to grabs as well um the only reason i wouldn't recommend grabbing is because what if he reads a grab and he command grabs you i wouldn't suggest that unless you also have a command grab anyway uh the only thing that makes his reversal different 
than Lost Warrior is that he can actually hold it. So if you do want to go for a mid and you want to kind of bait it out, be careful. He can't hold it for an extended duration. So like a delayed attack is not going to work. And this kind of principle of projectiles, I wouldn't say projectiles, but lows actually stop a lot of his different options here. Here's a free little tidbit. You know that move there. I know you do if you play it against a half decent grappler, right? Doesn't matter. At any point during the move, even towards the end, the middle, it will lose to lows. See, that was a mid, right? But if I do a low, it doesn't matter. This is how you shut down a lot of grapplers' options. But enough about beating up my boy grappler. If you guys stuck around for this long, I definitely got to show you some secret sauce with grappler, actually. And so for our final DP, I got my boy Berserker. Now, here's the thing. This isn't specific to Berserker. What Berserker represents is a subset of reversal attacks that are very slow on startup. Uh, some other ones that I can think of off the top of my head are Swift Master and Launcher, I believe. You can do safe jumps uh, pretty, pretty easily. This is a grappler specific example, but the, the, the concept is still proven here. They're, they are source, they are so slow, you can develop safe jumps off of them. This is one that I have been developing with our boy Grappler. So he's gonna DP just like always. Let me go ahead and show you guys that he'll DP. Boom chakalaka, and then here we go. We're gonna jab here for the frame kill, and there you have it. So now, even if he blocks, I'm good to go with my offense. Even if he DPs, I'm all good to go. And you'll see that be consistent across a number of characters that have the slower DPs. Does sleep still getting updated and whatnot, but once we get the frame data on his DP, anyone with that number or lower, that safe jump's gonna work on then, and I'm sure. Uh, people develop more safe jumps against characters with slower dps now there are characters with faster dps striker is definitely one of them even though it's really small it is really really quick so it seems like there's a spectrum of uh speed going all around the board i may have to do a video about that as well but that is it for this one those are five dps you can most definitely shut down and i'm sure we can continue to develop tech against even slower dps hope you guys enjoyed it like it the video if you guys uh, want more stuff like this and i'll see you guys in the next one